Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I show you how to visualize your data by using a scroll bar and a spin button. I am Nabil Murad. Before creating my chart, I need to build a helper table using some dynamic array functions. So let's see how we do that in Excel. In this worksheet, I have a list of student names and their score in different subjects. In column E, I have the total score for each student, and in column F, I have the class number. If I want to visualize this data in an easy way, so that I can compare the scores of different students, not all of them, but at least a subset of the students, six students at a time, I created this nice visualization and I control it with a spin button and a scroll bar. Now I can see the student scores from class number one. And if I want to switch to another class, I click on the spin button and I get the score from class two. I click on the spin button another time and I get the score for students in class three. If I want to switch to different students, then I click on the scroll bar and the scroll bar shows me a different set of six students and their score appears on a column chart. Using scroll bar and spin button form controls, creates a dynamic chart and can be useful when visualizing your data in a dashboard. Let's build this project from scratch. On the next worksheet, I have the same exact data. And for this project, I start by creating the controls. I go to the developer tab. If you don't have the developer tab, then you can simply right click on any tab, select customize the ribbon and check the box for developer. On the Developer tab, I go to the Controls group and I want to insert two controls. I click on the down arrow for Insert Controls and I start by inserting a Spin button. I click on Spin button, I click and drag to create my Spin button. And then I want to control some properties in the Spin button, I click on Properties. And in the Format Control dialog box, the minimum value will be 1 and the maximum value will be 3 because the spin button will control the class number. And then I want to link it to a cell. I put my blinking cursor in the cell link, and I want the cell reference to be preceded by the worksheet name in case I cut the control and visualizations and put them on a different worksheet. I click on the demo worksheet, and then I click on Start to bring it here, and I'll be linking my control to cell M1. I hit OK, and now I can see one in cell M1, if I test the control, I can go to class 2, I can go to class 3, and so on. Let's create the scroll bar as well. I click on the down arrow for insert, and from the second row of the insert menu, I select scroll bar. I click and drag to position my scroll bar. I click on properties, and this control will have a minimum value of 1, and will have a maximum value of 12 and for the incremental value one and let's say for the pitch change i'll make it five i want to link it to cell h1 then i click on cell h1 and it's preceded by the worksheet name and an exclamation mark i hit ok and that's fine i need to create a helper table in column j and k so i select cell j1 and what i want to do is to extract a list of six students from the selected class returned by the spin button. And the list of six students in column J will have their corresponding total score in column K. If I use the scroll bar, then I get a different list of students and so on. So I expand my formula bar, Control Shift U, and I start creating a let function, equal let, and then I hit tab. My first variable will be storing the column headers, name and class. So I'll be giving it a name A. I type a comma and in curly brackets, I type name, comma, total, each one in double quotation. I close the curly brackets and then I type comma, alt enter to move to the next line. In the next line, I'll be filtering the source data just to one single class. So I'll be filtering the source data based upon the number returned by the spin button. This variable will be called B, 
I type a comma and it consists of a filter function. I typed filter and then I hit tab. What would you like to filter? I would like to filter the entire range from A2 down to F52. I type a comma and what's my condition? What would you like to include? I would like to include column F. So I select the entire column, shift control down arrow control backspace. If it is equal to the class number returned by the spin button in cell M1. I close the bracket, I type a comma, then Alt Enter to move to the next line. My next variable will be extracting from the selected class six students starting from the number returned by the scroll bar. I give it a name C, I type a comma, I will use an index function to do that, so I type index and then I hit tab. What's the array from which you want to return values? I want the variable B, which is the list of students from the selected class. I type B and then I type com. What's the row number? I want a floating row number, so I'll be using a sequence function. So I type sequence and then I hit tab. For the sequence function, I always want to return six rows. These will be represented by the six columns in the column chart. I type six and then I type comma. How many columns do you want? Then I skip this argument. I type another comma. What's your start number? My start number will be the value returned by the scroll bar. So I click on cell H1 and then I type a comma. I want a step of one and I close the bracket for the sequence function. And then I type a comma, I move to the third argument of the index, what's the column number, which column would you like to return from the array B? Well, I want the name and the total. Then in curly brackets, I'll be typing one comma five. I close the bracket for the index function, I type a comma, and then I hit Alt Enter. I will be in the last line of my function where I want to put things together. I want to put the header, the variable A, on top of the values returned by the index function. Then I use a VStack function and then I hit tab. For my VStack function, I want the header, the variable A, and then I want the names and scores, that's the variable C. I close the bracket for the VStack, I close the bracket for the let function, and I hit enter. I do have conditional formatting in the top row, and now I get the names of six students. In preparation for creating my chart, I want to create a dynamic title, so I'll be doing that in cell M2. In cell M2, I created a simple formula, equal sign in double quotation student scores from class, and I grabbed the number returned by the spin button. Now let's create our chart. I select any cell in the spilled array, I hit Alt F1, and I would have created my chart. Let's improve the appearance by removing the grid lines, the vertical axis, and create the dynamic title. I select the title, I hit F2 equal sign, and I click on cell M2. Now I have a dynamic title. I also want to reduce the gap between the different columns, bring a data label, and change the color of each one of the columns by using very color by point. I formatted my chart, I changed the color of the columns and I reduced the gap. I formatted the horizontal axis and the chart title. I added some data labels and now I'll be adding a border to my chart. I want the chart border to be black and I want it thicker. And now I'm ready to test before finalizing my visualization. So if I use the spin button to select a different class, everything is changing. My title is dynamic and the entire chart is dynamic. It's returning right now student scores from class one. If I want a different set of students, then I can use the scroll bar and I change the number 
returned in H1, and everything is dynamic. To finalize my chart, I'm going to select these cells. I change the font color to white. When I position my chart, I don't want to see the text coming from these cells. I want to send my chart to back. Then I click on Format. I want to send it backward so that the Spin button will appear on top. And then I position my chart on top of my preparation table. I press Control and select the Spin button. I want to position it and resize it. Let me test one more time. The scroll bar is working and the spin button works fine. And I finished creating my project. If you found value in this tutorial, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel to be notified when your tutorials are released. The best is yet to come. Thanks for watching and see you next time.